Well everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review A.K. Tolstoy's A Taste of Blood. And this is a new horror film focusing on a vampire hunter and his family. And is this vampire hunter infected? Maybe. We're going to have to find out by watching this film and seeing how his family reacts over the course of this film. And I feel, and this is from director Santiago Fernandez Calvete, and focuses on enough family drama here to make us care about these dynamics going on in the film. You have this younger couple, you have this hunter, and they're off in the woods, they're off into the wilderness, they come upon people who have turned into vampires, you may or may not know if somebody is a vampire, they drop certain hints at certain things, and there's enough mystery in the film to keep you on the edge of your seat enough. Now, some of the highlights of this film is that I don't think this film takes itself too seriously. There's a campiness to it. Especially when, like, some vampire action really starts kicking up. It's some, like, great, like, metal music. Feels like Rob Zombie music on some level. And it's just, like, it brings that kind of personality to it. And also tells the audience that, you know, we're not taking this super seriously, so have some fun with this. And I appreciate that in this film because... It brings that kind of life, and you have, you know, some false turns, false mysteries, false reveals, this, this person a vampire is that person a vampire. I think the actual makeup of when somebody is a vampire in the film is pretty interesting, looks a little different, gives itself a little bit of its own personality, and it's also creepy and unnerving. This film does lean into, you know, jump scares and um, some cheaper kinds of thrills when it comes to horror films. But in general, I feel like this is an in a fun, decently campy, and enjoyable ride. It has characters and the that have enough depth for us to care enough about them. You have actors that are giving really solid performances, bringing them to life. And, you know, it has shocking moments. It has creepy and unnerving moments. And it's one of those kinds of films where, like, this isn't, like, the most fresh vampire story you're going to find. There's definitely been some other ones this year that really took the genre and did something very unique with it. This one's leaning into, we're going to have some fun with this. We're going to have some scares, we're going to have some mystery, we're going to have some thrills, and, you know, put them all together, not take this too, too seriously, and let you have some fun with it. And, honestly, that's what I did. I had some fun with it. But those are my thoughts on A Taste of Blood. Let me know what you think, and let's talk some movies. But thank you, as always, for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.